Who is this? <laughs> this is Rieger. Hi, Rieger. And uh, Rieger is a bass instrument, obviously. Oh, well, it's a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. And um, these are piano strings. Okay. And so they're oh. lower than really this amp can play and probably that your camera can really hear. Oh, that's like, cool. Like, because there's, these are way down at the bottom of the threshold kind of thing. Wow. You hear that, folks? That's low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's a nice sort of, um, you know, uh, it's a nice kind of bass that's more slow and it's more kind of, again, old school, it's sort of theatrical, mm. is where you hear these sounds much more than like, you couldn't play a rock song on this to save your life. It's right. Like, if you play really fast, it just, it just turns into fuzz, kind of. But it's kind of interesting fuzz, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of interesting fuzz. But it's more like, and they oh, last really that. a long time. Like, really wow. long sustain on here and Lots that's even it. this thing down here is a damper and this is a damper too okay like, like these notes so what do those do what does a damper do they make the note die faster okay because these last a really long time even longer yeah so they probably last like two minutes before they what? completely fade yeah. out that's crazy and this is um it's you can tune it any way that you'd like, sort of. Um, the strings kind of go from low to high. Okay. Low at this end. And that's because of the diameter of the string or how yeah, tightly yeah, they're these tuned are for a combination? Than, these are fatter than those. Got it. So it kind of goes low to high. Okay. And, um, and all of these? All these bridges move to tune. This is a little out of tune now. Anyway. Beautiful. But it has a nice kind of spacey, Talk about great instrument for soundtracks. Yeah, it's more. That's what I mean. It's more theatrical yeah. than like a, you know, a, a combo plays at the bar kind of. Thing. <laughs> yeah, that's great. How did you come up with the name? Um, Rieger is because there was an old instrument named Gurney, which is now resting in the woods in Massachusetts. <laughs> um, this is the same idea as Gurney was, even though okay. Gurney was flat. This one was sort of too long to be flat, which is why it got at this angle like this. Because the angle is nice. It just simply took up too much space and mm. it's kind of heavy too. Mm -hmm. And it's on wheels? Yep. So you can roll it around. Do you want to just like, can you sh show us that for a second? Yeah, it has sort of a handle back here and you can just nice. kind of tilt and, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's great. That's what it does. Awesome. Yeah, and these low notes just, they would, you're hearing a note an octave higher than the note that this is making through this little speaker. What do you mean? Well, um, like, um, <laughs> how do we explain this? So the wavelength, Yes. you know, you have that, that wavelength. Mm -hmm. And when you hear, whenever you hear a wavelength, you also hear half the wavelength, a quarter of the wavelength, etc. Okay. Up the thing, and this note is so low that you're hearing half the wavelength, and the rest of it is just not getting processed. Uh, uh. You know, particularly cameras don't go that low because then all you would hear is like the hum of the world, mm -hmm. like they have um, bass roll off, it's called, and you know, because right. like the wind sound, you know, when you're in camera in the wind and it goes mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That keeps that out of the thing. So it Got also it. won't pick up like a lot of low notes. Interesting. Is there a way, have you ever experimented uh, with recording those no, low notes with some type of... Yeah, in, yeah, uh, and they'll play in, they'll, they'll play in subwoofers. Okay. But they cool. won't play in, most speakers kind of stop at about 50 hertz. Okay. And... So where would you say in hertz this guy gets These are probably from? like, oh, 30s and 20s, the lower oh. notes of these. You know, that one's probably down there. I think the lowest piano note is 28 hertz. The brown tone is like somewhere four or five hertz. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Well, hey, great to meet you, Igor. Cheers! <laughs>